history of the NASCAR Nextel Cup Series. Take so much effort to get here, and uh, we finally got here. Kyle Busch down the front stretch at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, and he will win the Brickyard 400. The win goes to Kyle Busch. The championship goes to Kyle Busch. He has done it here. Kyle Busch is the 2015 NASCAR Sprint Cup Series champion. Kyle Busch gets it done at Charlotte. He is now one everywhere. Ever since I was a kid, I dreamt of this, man. Yes! Boogity, boogity, boogity! Let's go racing, boys! Well, we knew Kyle Busch would be a factor today. No doubt about that. He's been on a roll. He's coming off of a win last week and highly motivated to get that win today. Okay, green checker here. For the third time in his career, Kyle Busch is going to see that green and white checkered flag twice as he sweeps stages one and two here. Five, four, three, two, one here. No more. Ho, oh, hold the phone. Kyle Bush, too fast on pit road. Wow. Exiting. He got us too fast, section 13. The first thing that went through my mind when they busted me for speeding was I wasn't speeding. I didn't see any lights over my normal lights that I normally run and certainly didn't want to have that happen. Certainly didn't want to get back in traffic and have that opportunity to get mixed up in somebody else's mess. If there's any car and any driver that can get back up there, it's us. Got to pace ourselves. Plenty of laps left here, man. Right back in it. Green flag goes back in the air. On in front, three mid. Open in front of the 24. Wow, did you see that move? Kyle Busch just dove to the bottom. Four, four bottom. The biggest thing was just traffic. When guys would run in front of you, you wouldn't know where they were going to run when they get to the corner, so you kind of always have to offset yourself a little bit from them. Kyle Busch just did it again. Threaded the needle, went Good. to the bottom. Okay, that movie made off turn four. That's impossible. And there's really nothing you can do in those situations. Just drive the hell out of it. Finally, I was able to kind of run those front two guys back down, and once I got there, it just seemed like I could almost blow their doors off. All the way back to the top spot is Kyle Busch. I always try to just keep my eyeballs on the racetrack and my head into what I'm doing and what's going on. Then all you do is you start to hear every little noise around you. And you feel little slips of the tire, and you're like, do I have a tire going flat? Finally, once you see that white flag, that's when you kind of know. It's like, all right, all I got to do is bring it back. Everything's fine now. Kyle Busch in his Joe Gibbs Toyota is going to win his 53rd race in the Cup Series and hit his magic number 200. Oh, yes. Yeah. Woo, boy. Awesome race car. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I speak for all of us, buddy, when I say thanks for letting us be a part of it, man. You are the best. It's not my 200th win by any means. I'll never see that number, but to be a small part of his legacy is a big deal. Somebody earlier this week had asked me the question, they're like, would you be okay with winning on Saturday if it was for win number 200? And I'm like, yeah, I'd, I'd be okay with that. But winning number 200 today in the Interstate Batteries Camry was pretty special. I don't know if in this day and age there is truly a greatest of all time. I would just like to be, you know, in that mix of the top five, top eight guys. This milestone is obviously a special one to me, to many of those that are around me. But there's so many of the 200 that are special or meaningful. And to bookend number one and 200 here at the same place, it's kind of crazy. And just being able to win, that's what it's about.